what is a cloud? Well, the cloud offers a lot of services. For example, uh, you may be using OneDrive, Google Drive, or other for storing photos and files. Uh, you could have access to a huge computer through the, your limited computer with a lot of memory and CPU. Uh, you could have access to services, for example, a database service that is assembled on top of that computing power, storage, and the, and the network underneath. And of course, you could be requesting to the to the cloud to execute uh, one program for you or a container that you have prepared. So uh, we have two types of uh, clouds. Uh, we have the public cloud and we have the private cloud. Uh, the public cloud, you may be familiar with it. Big companies like uh, Google, Microsoft, Amazon, they, they have uh, distributed data centers all across the world. They have put the hardware, they have put the knowledge to build these clouds offering those services I just mentioned and any user can pay per use to use those resources to use those services okay so you can with no investment with no payment in advance you can start deploying your application or giving service you can make an app for a mobile phone for example and start working directly offering services uh, at a uh, wall uh, level the thing is uh, in the other hand, we have the private cloud that is just the opposite. The, 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 the private cloud is that you build everything for yourself. If the public cloud is like a public bus, the private cloud would be like your private car. It's much smaller, but you can do with it whatever you want. Uh, this is very convenient for telcos at the moment because uh, you could have legal restrictions and you can you want to have uh, control of the data uh, the telco workloads are not really suitable for the for the public cloud at the moment so if you have a lot of input output you want to place it in the in the private cloud uh, maybe you want to exploit that uh, you want to be close to the final user and our data centers are much closer to the users so the private cloud uh, has many advantages for us the thing is that we have a third type of uh, cloud that will be a combination of both. It is called the hybrid cloud. It's basically if we link our private cloud with the public cloud, we get advantages from both. So we are able, for example, if we get a peak of work, we can expand going to the public cloud. And when the peak finishes, we go back and we just keep in our uh, private cloud. Or, for example, we would want to deploy a service close to the user. The thing is that our data centers are in Europe and we want to deploy something in the United States. We can use a public cloud data center in that case because this hybrid model allows us to do so. Finally, I'd like to mention that it's not the cloud. We have a multi-cloud goal. We are going to be using multiple uh, private and public clouds, even hybrid clouds. So we need to know when we deploy our workload, we need to know if we are going to be able to move it to another cloud, to expand it to another cloud, if we are going to be using uh, the same policies in the different clouds or not. So there is a little bit more of a control needed in, in this case. But uh, this is the world that we have. We have multiple clouds. I hope you find this uh, interesting and uh, of course contact me if you have any doubts.